I hope he doesn't mind that I make you! Oh! Go readings, boogie fans! Michael here, and it's time for more of my Crown Tundra adventure! In the last episode, after entirely too much time, I finally got my shiny Galarian Slowpoke evolved into a shiny Galarian Slow King, which looks mostly like the normal one. It's fine, it's still cool to have. I'm not going to swap it out for one of my team members. Uh, in Isle of Armor, I swapped in my shiny Galarian Slow Bro onto my main squad. I will not be doing that this time because Slow King is ugly. I feel terrible. I feel truly terrible. But it is not a particularly pretty Pokemon, and I don't want to. I don't want to ditch my. I don't want to ditch my my Venusaur. I like my Venusaur. Can it be? Maybe you'll get to check into Mexit at some point. It'll be fun. What the hell is that? Oh my god. I saw that Jinx's hair and I thought it was like a pile of swine. Like an overworld shiny pile of swine. Pile of swine's not even, shiny pile of swine's not even that yellow, but anyways. I am going to progress in the story now because I accomplished my mission last time. And let's enter the Dynamax Den. Please, sir, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can. Mm. Apologies for the hydration break. My precious daughter's in there and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but... But what? I'm here to have an adventure and I want to kick it off right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. Oh, there you are, lad. So you've come after all, have you? Something the matter? Nothing's all right and everything's the matter. <laughs> this ultra mega numpty of a scientist. Ooh, vicious. Vicious disintegration. Ultra mega numpty. That's that's the new insult of our time. Numpty of a, I beg your pardon, sir. Yeah, see, she's pissed. If you'd be so good as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril, and I'm afraid, and I'm not no patience for standing here listening to you rattle off the fine print. Oh, we're just going around in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I could allow the two of you to enter as a pair. Ah, uh -huh, now you're talking! Look at those Dottler chilling over there. Go on then, let's see what the good lady's got to say. Then we'll go find my little Nia together, right? Right! The Max Lair is a labyrinth, labyrinthine! That's what I've been saying! Crown Tundra, labyrinth! Underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which normally are not found in the Galar region. Ooh, spicy. Form a team of four trainers and set off to explore the mysterious Max Lair. See if you can find the deep, find the legendary Pokemon said to await you in the deepest part of this unusual den. To take part in a Dynamax adventure, you must borrow, borrow a single Pokemon. Get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon they will take with them on their adventure. As you explore this den, you'll come to branches in your path. Decide as a team which way to go. When you come across a Dynamax Pokemon, it'll be time for a Max Raid battle. Catch the Pokemon and you can swap it with the one you have if you think it'll help you press on into the depths of the den. It's like a, this is really, it's kind of like the Battle Factory uh, back in the back in the Gen, Gen 3, Gen 4 days. To avoid the risk of Galar Particle Overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we have prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the Particle's effects. Right, right, I'll follow you. So you're saying you don't want Galar losing control, so the Pokemon rent some Particles, and we might see a rare overexposure. <laughs> that was stunningly incorrect, sir. Okay, Peony's a hoot. This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you have a firm grasp of the rules. I'm still a touch lost. Uh, that's the type of place this is, eh? Right, sounds like this is all a bit beyond me, so I'll just go on in and get cracking. Here comes Papa, my darling Nia. No, I've told you it's too dangerous. What's going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the chairman at all. Ah, for the proof. When you're ready, go, go chase him down. Pardon me, I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure, please let me know. All right, I'm ready, let's do this. Dynamite ore, yes, so I can get carrots. So we suggest trying them alone for now, just to get a little familiar. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Don't invite others. I can borrow one Pokemon. Kling Clang. Lurantis. Ooh, ooh, this is hard. Um. You know what? Let's go. Let's go, Kling Clang. It. I think it just has the biggest. Uh, biggest. 
base stat total. Oh, water type. Oh, I wonder what that's gonna be. All right, clearly we're going normal. I'm not going ground when I have a steel type. And like, no one's weak to normal, so like, we're fine. What we got? Diggersby, which is still a ground type. Are you kidding me? What the heck? That's so unfair. I mean, if I'd picked Luxray too. Should I Dynamax? I don't think anybody else will Dynamax, so I have to Dynamax. I'll boost our defense. This won't be super effective, but. I've never Dynamaxed a Kling Kling before. I don't know if I've ever used a Kling Kling before. Oh, it floats. Oh, was that a neutral hit? Oh, I thought I thought ground resisted steel. I guess I'm wrong. Oh, way to go, Lorantis. Yes, more max steel spike. Oh, we got this. We gonna get this Diggers B. Ooh, yes. Crush him. Oh, I got a crit. Okay, we're gonna be fine. I was a bit worried, but this. Yes, perfect timing, Altaria. Just exactly what we need right now is you to make yourself at plus five defense. All right, Raichu goes down, but that's fine. Lorantis should finish this. Yep, there we go, all right. One down. I guess I'll catch the Pokeball. I don't think I'm gonna switch out a Kling Kling for a Diggers B, though. But I might get extra goodies if I catch it. Wow, that took no effort. <laughs> and, uh, all right, huge power. Ooh. Actually, actually, I'm taking the Diggers B. Huge power is pretty cool. Oh, I can see the silhouettes of some of them. Oh, oh, what is that? Okay, I can't tell the ground one. I can tell that's a Chansey. Let's go the Chansey. Chansey's gonna be for sure easy to beat with a huge power Pokemon. Encountered a backpacker. Well, how incredibly lovely. Okay, this is cool. Wow, this is a fun strategy thing. Figuring out what items you wanna give along the way. Wow, that's dope. Why? What are you doing? Oh, nice, big damage. Oh yeah, this is, this is no problem. Dude, this guy, he's the one with the stupid Snorlax. Looks like he's stupid with other Pokemon too. Just attack. It's a Chansey. Do you think you need to boost your defense against a Chansey? Was it, this is gonna tickle. Okay, admittedly that did more than I thought it would, but still, freaking Martin. It's always Martin. What are you doing, Martin? All right, we beat the Chansey. No way I'm swapping. I don't want a Chansey. <laughs> I do probably need to not have the Diggers be before the final battle though. Uh, Cause it's, it, the boss is a water type. That's gonna impact my next decision. Man, I should have gone the other way. All right, I'm not doing fire. Flying, that looks like a Butterfree. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go dark. Man, I should have paid attention, I should have scrolled up. All right, that's a tip. Scroll up on the map sooner to see the path you need to get to take to get the best Pokemon before the final battle. <laughs> oh, you don't heal between battles. I just realized. Okay, that's news. That may, okay, they really are incentivizing switching, aren't they? <laughs> Altaria! <laughs> Martin! Martin, stop what you're doing and just attack! <gasps> Diggersby, held on! Incredible! All right, this ends it. Got him. All right, Absol. You're gonna be my partner. Could be... Kyogre, could be Suicune. 
What other water type legendaries? Would, would it show two types if it was a dual type? Like if it was like Palkia, would it show water dragon? Or would it just show one of the types? I don't know. All right, I definitely want to swap Pokemon. I found some Burris. Oh. Oh, I'm nervous. I mean, I've got an electric and grass type on my side, but. Oh, the music's different. Ooh, sweet goon. I am not allowed to Dynamax. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna Night Slash many times. All right, setting that up for later moves. My heart is pounding. <laughs> this is intense. Oh, that is not damage. That is also not much damage. That was good damage with the special defense drop. What? What? Whoa, wait, hold on. Why did that just happen? Why did it raise sharply? Does Lorantis have contrary? That is not, not what you like to see there. I got a crit that time. Oh, nice, Lorantis. Oh man, this Lorantis is carrying us. Lorantis has contrary? I had no idea it had contrary. That makes this a hell of, heck of a lot easier. We're almost there. All right, this is absolutely overkill, but just to be safe. <laughs> yep, it was overkill. <laughs> All right, but we won. I, was, I Wow, shout out. Was that contrary Lorantis or did its leaf storm drop another time? I don't even know. Oh, heck. Oh, I'm using my actual Pokeballs this time. Don't fail me now, I want this Suicune. Oh, thank God. Whew. All right. Successful first Max Raid Den, Dynamax Den, whatever the hell you call this. Choose the one Pokemon you'd like to keep. Ah. Uh, would the chance see? No, I want, I want the Suicune. Dynite Ore. <gasps> now I can get some carrots. Oh, I'm just chilling in here. <laughs> what? Hey, it's Nia. Hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for Dynamax Adventure 2? Wicked. Guess we're on the same wavelength. I'm Peonia. Oh, Peony, Peonia. Okay. Nice to properly meet you. What about you? What's your name? I'm Watcher. I need to say this just so I know what it means. Watcher, name's Michael. Pfft, that's how you always talk, it's not bad. No, I, all right, well now she's laughing at me and I regret everything. Teenage girls are ruthless. So is my dad on his way here too? I haven't seen him. So he got turned around and wound up back at the entrance? Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mud bray. Things go all right after I left. What, you beat him? You should pull the blinder there. He used to be a gym leader, you know, even on holiday, he's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about how he'd planned for us to check out local legends on this super intense adventure tour, or adventure, as he calls it. But I mean, come on, what girl my age would be caught dead doing some naff thing like that with her dad? Girls who like adventure. Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Ah, the thrill of battling one of those massive towering Pokemon. Just thinking about it gets me pumped up. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what? I've just had a thought. You're a pretty fine trainer. Bet you could handle taking my place on my old man's adventure. Uh, sounds like great fun. Too right it does. I mean, it would pro it's probably gonna hurt his feelings, but it's a brilliant idea if I do say so myself. He's so hyped up about all this, it'd be a shame to just leave him on his own. And who knows, you could end up running into a legendary Pokemon. Yeah, I just caught a Suicune. How about I meet back up with you two after I've had my own fun in the max lair? Go on then, enjoy your twosome tour of legends. Tell my old man the deal and all that. Okay, great, but uh, wait, how do I get out of here? I don't see a ladder. Okay, clearly I found the ladder. Oi. Oh no, he's dead. Rest in peace, Peony. That hurts, it ultra mega hurts. Nia, where's my darling Nia? Are you all right? This fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I didn't see that coming. Uh, adventures aren't to be taken lightly. I've learned that first head now. First hand, I mean, uh, <laughs> I love this guy. I was just checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks. Look how I've ended up. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly coly, sir? <laughs> There we go, I'm up. No little bump's gonna keep me down long. That kibber's got me feeling right as rain. How about it then, lad? Did you find my darling Nia? I did, but... You don't say. So there's Nia set on staying away. She's just staying away till she's had her fill of this Dynamax Adventure stuff. She wants the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on the Grand Peony Adventure... Adventure! I keep wanting to, you guys are watch she on the Princess of Power, how Seahawk says, ADVENTURE! 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 ADVENTURE? That's how I keep wanting to say adventure. You know, I burned the candle at both ends, working out the best itinerary I could for my dear near sake. But I guess she's at that age where she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time. Oh, I'm trying to press her to doing what I want to do is probably won't win me any Dad of the Year award. Right then, what's your name, kid? Cheers, Michael, my name's Peony. Wait. I've already told you so. <laughs> then it's twice as nice to meet you. Oh, let's check out his link card. Let's have ourselves such a smashing adventure that my dear Neil will be itching to join in on the fun. Yes, let's. I'm so excited. Now that's an ultra mega great response. Just what I was hoping to hear. <laughs> We're gonna have ourselves a real treat of a legendary Pokemon hunt. So let's decide it. Now then, Michael, let's get ourselves to Freezington. It's a town just a short ways off. Time for a strategic planning meeting for Peony's Adventure. I'll fill you in on the details once you get there. I say let us reconvene post haste. Ha, just pulling your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talk like that? ha 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 Oh, Peony. You absolute legend. Oh, cool. Peony is a former Steel-type gym leader. His powerful and dynamic battle style meant that anyone stuck on pitch maintenance had their work cut out for them. To this day, he is known as Steel Peony and has many fans, especially among men. This photo is actually a composite photo made before Peony became, came to the Crown Tundra. It was originally a poster Peony stuck in the travel planner he made for his daughter, but she threw it away in short order. Peony liked the way it looked and decided to use it for his league card. Well, all right then. More cutscenes in a town I've already been to. Hooray. Hello, hello, what have we here? Another visitor. Ooh, I'm the mayor of this fair town. There's the mayor. I'd say it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our out of the way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvests? Well, yeah. Ah, oh, never mind. It hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region, which is a bit of a shame, really. Come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this Freezington specialty as a memento. A boat neck sweatshirt? It's a shirt and blazer with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvest. I'm afraid it hasn't quite sold as well as we'd hoped. We've got a turn of a leftover. The illustration's based on extremely ancient accounts of the King's appearance, hence the unusually sized head. We thought it might make the desi design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see what the king really looked like, I suggest you take a look at the statue. Already did. It's a Calyrex on a horse. And by the way, you're here in the Crown Tundra. Feel free to let your lead Pokemon out of its Pokeball and take it for a stroll. Ah, okay. Following Pokemon. Can I just say they did the following Pokemon really badly in the expansion pass? Like how they, like, you go faster than them and they fall behind and then they run and catch up, you know? And then they fall behind and then they run and catch up. It really just, like... Don't care if it's biologically accurate, just make them go the same speed as you. Like, uh. Carrot seeds. Ch screw it. Mystery is still left to unravel about the carrot seeds. Here we are in the freezing. Aha, here you are. This pokey little place will be our lodgings. Now the inn is just a house. <laughs> But at this moment, it's also something far more important, our base camp. I know, I know, not much of a base camp. Still, we gotta give it our proper air of importance, haven't we? Now enough faffing about, Michael. Let me tell you what the p &E exploration team is after, the pet. Around here, they've got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge-headed Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. Not to mention, a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather. <laughs> And furthermore, the great hulk and dot face giants that sleep in some ruins or something, etc. 
<laughs> oh, I, I'm on the peony roller coaster and I love it. See what I mean? This place is just bursted with juicy legends. We're not stopping until we found just how much truth they've got to them. There you have it. We are the peony exploration team. And that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. Of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. <laughs> oh, he's crying. But who knows? They even say chancy meetings can lead to blissful friendships. <laughs> the puns! So here's to a grand adventure expedition, Chief Michael. Chief? Obviously. Look, what do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivanting off together? My dear Nia could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just thought of it. My own darling daughter sitting alone in this room, pining for a papa. <laughs> Fair plays with my emotions. No, not on my watch. I'd never let that happen. So I'll be holding down the fort, Chief. Dude, you were so excited for this adventure and you're just going to sit on your butt in this house? <laughs> Which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition, Chief. Which brings me to this. Go on, have it. Yes, I want to look cool and wintry. Oh, and he comes with a backpack. Oh, I love this outfit. <laughs> Look at that! Fits you like a glove. I brought some spare uniforms so my dear Nia could have a few to change into. So there's enough to give you one. And if you ever need to change or have a kit, by all means, send to the bedroom back here. I got some different colored scarves in there, so switch it up if you fancy a bit of style. What? What? Legendary Clue 1. A clue about the King of Battle of Harvest is written by Peonies and an old photo is attached. There's a fairy tale in Freezington. Oh, look, he's got his head. But the legendary Pokemon is the King of Battle of Harvest and the legend of the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue near the fields in the middle of the village shows no sign of a crown. Okay. Man, this is fun. I'm solving mysteries. Far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's door, the strange words, let the something man Change something one. Sunken in the side of snow slide slope lies the temple where the giant of ice sleeps on the temple's door, strange words. Wash together living bathroom stall of snow. Near where the green meets snow, in the giant's bed lies the temple where the giant of steel sleeps on the temple's door, strange words. Let out, note taking, wake the giant of steel. On the distant paths of Three Point Pass lies a temple where two giants sleep. On the temple's door are strange words. Where are the doors shall be opened. And there's another one. I have a, I have a, oh man, this is giving me flashbacks to like trying to figure out the Reggie mystery back in the Hoenn games. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there that the legendary wings come to roost. From hours of dedicated telly watching. <laughs> First off, why don't I have a look at that clue about the King of Animal Harvest? Seems like this king's bond to its loyal steed or whatever you call it run proper deep. So if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it... Ooh! The Sacred Bonds of Sovereign and Steed! Ooh! <laughs> I love that font. There's a great big statue of it banging in the middle. Is that the crown just sitting there on the table? Are you serious? No, why would I ever want to change? There's a little something to help you out. Oh, no, uh, wow, okay. Ooh, do I like the blue accent? For now, I've decided to toss on the yellow electric armband just cause like, either blue or yellow, and I don't know, I think the yellow looks nice with the orange and red. It's like I'm on fire and stuff. But uh, let me just grab this part of the statue that's just chilling here. Hey, Chief, my pillow's caught your eye. Oh, God. <laughs> your pillow? Oh, wait, listen to your Chief. I've got some wisdom to impart. If you can put your head on it and have a kip, it's a pillow. <laughs> Of course, today I went and left my favorite pillow back at home. So I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head on, and I found this out back behind the gin, the inn. Can I have it? Come off it, you want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy pillow? Penny, it's a rock. That's a lot of you come from you, chief. What? 
What's that? You think my pills got something to do with a legendary Pokemon? Ultra Mega, seriously, it's just some old thing I found. Really want it, Chief? Who am I to refuse? All right, all right, go on then, have it. But you better make sure you track that legend down. Oh, more cutscenes. Oh, nope, it's just a nice camera pan informing me of, look at all this place you have to explore when I did that, not fully extensively, but I did quite a bit of it. Yes, let's put the wooden crown on here. Russell Russell Schwunk. <laughs> Looks so derby. Excuse me. Oh! <gasps> Wait, this is the clearing. Save the game. I'm fighting this already? Am I even gonna be able to catch this thing? I mean, it said you wanna ready a Pokeball. I don't know how this is gonna even work. And we gotta... Oh, I can't throw a Pokeball. Oh. Did I really spend all that? Then I just have to kill it, like... <laughs> I don't know why I'd, man, I could, if I knew, I should have just thrown a, tried a quick ball on turn one. I just wasted so much time. Pro crown, crow, round, round crown. Who are you? Its legs are so long. All right, what's up? I heard a big ruckus coming from over here. What's this now, Chief? Are you having a Pokemon battle? Huh? What a massive nugget! <laughs> oh! What, what's this? What? What? Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing? Oh, yes, a sturdy body, just as I expected. I hope he doesn't mind that I make you! Oh! Oh my god! There's possession! In Pokemon! I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Are you the Pokemon? No, I see you've grasped the situation already. Very astute of you. I am Calyrex. I am the one known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. I borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude toward you for restoring my statue. In days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. And offer me their loyalty and respect, as I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvests year after year. However, it seems that over many, many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me strength, and now I have lost all but a fraction of my former power. My loyal steed has abandoned me. However, you were kind enough to restore my statue. That act has returned some strength to me, at least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I have a favor to ask of you. Oh, man. I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvests. 
I've tried asking them myself, you understand. They treated me like some sort of fairy tale creature or flew into a mild panic at the sight of me. Please, kind hearted human, I beg you to help me. So I'm just gonna walk away and the. Yo, that is. This is. This is nuts. I can't. <laughs> I can't get over. I can't get over that. Oh, they healed my team. Alright, that's nice. I should have known that because Peregrine was out of the ball. I'm just. I'm. I am flabbergasted at that. Calvin? Or Callista? Well, of course I do. It's only the main tourist attraction of our lovely Freezington, after all. Imagine we would see more visitors if only the king were real. Ah, human child, I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. They say anything about me. They did, but... It is as I suspected. Nobody truly believes that I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm? Oh, no, of course, I am not grieving. I am the king of Bountiful Harvest, after all. I know better than to count on humans to remember me. This proves beyond doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. Only my loyal steed were here to return to me. Gain something of what I've lost. Is that a Pokemon? Yes, the four-legged Pokemon that I used to ride all across the land. The very same Pokemon that my statue in the village shows me riding. It just looks like a horse. Last though in ancient times we spent many days together, dashing through the valleys and over the mountains of this land. My power waned, and I was forced to part ways with it. Now I know not where it may be. Even if we should succeed in locating my loyal steed, I have my doubts as to whether it has remained... Well, loyal. I've lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my currently not-so-loyal steed. I've been your dead if you could speak to the head of the village on my behalf. If you're able to find any information at all, I ask that you let me know. Whoa, what? Whoa, his hat just flew back on! Uh, yeah! Uh, Chief, with a, with a massive noggin! Wait! Wait! No! No, it's normal! What? I must have fallen asleep where I stood! <laughs> I feel strange that my body's not quite my own. Guess I'll head back to base and get some rest. Besides, it's freezing out here. Man's not home at the moment. I just talked to him! What's this? Oh, our dear visitor, what brings you here? Mm, you want to learn about the loyal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvests? This is oddly the place for storytelling. Come to my home in Freezington. It's better to have a nice chat in the warmth, after all. Please visit whenever you're ready. Dude, what? Why didn't... Why, why are you making me run all these errands? Oh, of course. You want to learn about the loyal steed. Right, right. Well, I don't know why you'd be interested in such things, but come then. Follow me. The King's proud steed. The horse Pokemon gave over its power to serve the King and carry it hither and thither. The two even became one for a time. Oh. Combining their strength to create a forest in a single night. This proud steed has been a wild thing once, ravaging... Had been a wild thing once, ravaging the village with crops and causing much woe. But the king in all its greatness brought this fierce creature to heal and secured its loyalty. And for each among us who claims the steed's hide was black as the midnight gloom in which ghosts appear, there is another who claims it was white as a block of solid ice. Hardy crops for the tundra. While carrots can be grown in the crown tundra, they have rather unusual growing habits. When grown beneath the heaped snow, these hardy roots tend to develop into ice root carrots. When grown in tracks close to where many souls are laid to rest, shade root carrots will be your crop. Shade root carrots are a favorite tree for many ghost type Pokemon, while ice type Pokemon seem to delight in eating ice root carrots. According to the old fairy tales, the steed that the King of Bountiful Harvest rode upon loved both of these varieties, or perhaps one or the other. Records seem to contradict one another, while some stories speaking of a white steed delighting in ice root carrots, and others mentioning a black seed steed devouring shade root carrots. This seems funny. Every passing year, while it's tempting to stay indoors, what's cozy, don't forget to move that body to the freezing snow samba today and get your body moving too warm all winter, yay. We lift both hands in the air, wave here, wave there, bow low, touch your toe, and freeze. Then we pop up, start it all over. Okay, I think I, I think I figured it out. Oh, hey there, Chief. I had a feeling someone called me. Was it you? Huh? Merlurg! <laughs> oh, man, that deeply unsettles me every time. Human child, were you able to find something about my loyal steed? Yes. So you found out about something that my loyal steed could not resist. It's been so long since we rode together that I'd completely forgotten. This information will be able to lure my loyal steed to me yet, so tell me, what is it that my loyal steed would find so irresistible? Carrots. Oh, carrots, you say? Yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, we'd leap at any chance to eat some kind of crop. It took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, the crop must have been carrots. I mean, you're dead, human child. 
What we must do now is clear. If we are able to find Carrot somewhere, it should be but a trifle to lure my loyal steed back to me. I wonder, if must of the village grow any carrots? If we could obtain even a single seed, I could grow a carrot from it myself. By the stars! You say that you have carrot seeds! Look at his shocked eyes! That strange bag contains the seeds of carrots! You humans never stopped adapting and evolving! I'm constantly amazed by your ingenuity. I feel so happy that Calyrex is proud of me. Yeah, hmm, the fields of the village simply won't do. They're not suited for growing carrots. If we could find rich soil, I could use my powers to grow the crops we need. Now, where will we find soil suited for growing these crops in this tundra of mine? Oh. All right, two spots that might suit our needs. One is a field covered in pristine snow. And another spot is a field by gravestones where those who moved on were laid to rest. Either of those locations should allow me to use my powers and grow the carrots we need. Please, I ask that you choose a field and plant those seeds. Oh, God! Whoa, what the... I seem to be getting in the habit of falling asleep outside! <laughs> yeah, I guess it just goes to show that holding down the fort isn't all that easy. Take care of yourself, Chief. Don't overdo it! All right, well, now I know what I must do. I have to go plant carrots. Ice or ghost? My decision will be made next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of my Crown Tundra adventure. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, you gotta catch them all.